Crisis 4 may still be a long way from being released, but the teaser Crytek presented in 2022 left us plenty to talk about, and one can't help but speculate on where the franchise's story, and of course gameplay, could be heading next. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. You're watching Python Selkin. Following our detailed analysis of last year's teaser, we believe the story of Crisis 4 could potentially revolve around the devastation of the world, possibly caused by what could be the sun itself. The fact that we saw from buildings all the way to tropical trees getting annihilated strongly suggests that this particular aftermath could be affecting the entire world, and unless the story will be focusing on the prevention of this chaos, the concept of world annihilation could even lead the game to feature the wastelands as part of a post-apocalyptic setting. The Crisis franchise is no stranger to its diversity in locations, starting from the first game's iconic jungle and snow environments, Crisis 2 is New York, and when you've already had them both, Crisis 3 actually makes the two with a jungle in a city. Crisis games were always renowned for their huge levels, but they were never considered to be open world games, and what better way to achieve yet another visual benchmark than with a post apocalyptic setting utilizing today's hardware advancements? Crytek's latest CryEngine would undoubtedly make wonders with some desertish wastelands, and it's one of those environments that allows a game to raise the bar when it comes to state-of-the-art visuals, which is of course what the Crisis franchise is renowned for. Take the concept of the Mad Max movies, or the 2015 video game going by the same name, Having a broken humanity of apocalypse survivors go up against each other in a war for survival, but this time with the addition of aliens wandering those wastelands, and of course some badass looking nano suits. It would certainly be an interesting change of pace for the next game and the overall franchise. And in a way, Crisis 3 already shares some similarities with Mad Max's storyline, with the Cell Corporation taking credit for the victory over the Seth's invasion in Crisis 2 leading Cell to attempt global domination by constructing nanodomes across the world, with the hidden purpose of gaining control over most of the world's population. Cell's conquest over humanity is very much reminiscent of the main antagonist in Mad Max Fury Road, Immortan Joe, who following the apocalypse would soon become known as the ruler of the wasteland, after managing to acquire a massive aquifer plant, which he rebuilt into his own citadel, a stronghold where he'd also enslave apocalypse survivors. The parallelism of global domination is certainly uncanny, and the collapse of civilization being hinted in Crisis 4's teaser could just be the apocalypse that might take the franchise into a whole new direction. Having said that, this was just one example for Crisis 4's potential setting, and we're very looking forward to seeing where the story is heading next. What are your thoughts on all this? Do you think we'll be seeing these kind of wastelands in a potential post-apocalyptic setting? And if not, how do you prefer Crisis 4's setting to be? Let us know your thoughts and theories in the comment section down below. If you liked this video and enjoy all things Crisis, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll be sure to return the favor with content you won't find anywhere else. Thank you all for watching. Till the next one guys, Python and Selkin, out.